what do you hope to accomplish with your walking for peace? I'm walking as a prayer for world peace. I believe that nothing is too big to pray for. I'm walking as an opportunity to talk with people, mostly about peace within ourselves as a step toward peace in our world. And I wear the letter tunic so that people will stop and talk. Lots of them do. Well, how do you finance your trips? Well, of course, the pilgrim is on faith. I'm penniless, and I own only what I wear and what I carry in my little pockets, and I don't belong to any organization. There's no organizational backing behind me. My vow says I shall remain a wanderer until mankind has learned the way of peace, walking until I am given shelter and fasting until I am given food. And you know, without ever asking for anything, I have been supplied. People are good. Well, is it uh, very often that you have to go without food or without a bed on these walks? I seldom skip more than three or four meals in a row. I don't even think about food until food is offered. I once had a 45-day period of prayer and fasting. I know how long one can go without food. And even when I'm with total strangers, I have a bed about three-quarters of the time. When I don't, I might sleep in a bus station in a city or a truck stop out on the highway. But I have slept on the grass beside the road. I have walked all night to keep warm. If you're concerned enough about what you're doing, you don't mind any of these little so-called hardships. And I'm very concerned about peace. Thank you very much. We've been walking and talking with a woman who calls herself Peace Pilgrim, who walks across the nation in search of peace and goodwill for men. This is Paul Zimmerman, Wave News.